Hey guys, so today we're gonna take a closer, closer look here on a new leaked firmware by SamMobile.com and this is the official by Samsung RM. it's actually two RMs that have been leaked one is based on Android 4.0.1 and the other one is based on Android 4.0.3 and obviously I'm using the Android 4.0.3 version in the, in the, in it's the latest one called i9100XXKP8 that I have installed on my white Samsung Galaxy S2 European edition uh, but there's also another one as I said there based uh, it's being called i9100XXKP4 but obviously the, this newer one uh, XXKP8 uh, it uh, got you know Samsung made it and built it uh, just two days ago so uh, the 30th of December they made this RM like final so it's very fresh so it should have fixed a lot of you know things a lot of bugs so let's just go ahead and begin am I gonna sign in not now And doesn't feel like it at all right now on the keyboard. I'm sure. I don't remember if this bill or XXKP1 and XXKP2. I think those are the bills that I've tested out. But obviously this comes with TouchWiz, so it's not like full, uh, full, full, full that cool experience that all of you guys do want. Um, but as you see, it's Android 4.0.3. Uh, this is how it looks like when you slide from the top. Uh, it just looks a little bit boring um, used as the old one. Uh, but if we go ahead and tap here to see, okay, there we go. We don't have that new Android 4.0.1 uh, or 4.0.3 menu down here. You can see a touch with UI really destroys a lot of things here. Uh, if, if you like the stock Android 4.0 experience that you get on the Galaxy Nexus. Uh, but if you go ahead and go to Applications, Settings, uh, this is how it looks like over here. And it feels, feels really good. Uh, if you go to About Phone, uh, you can see it's based on XXKP8. You could also see that the kernel it's running on is 3.0.13, uh, that's interesting, uh, and then the baseband version i9100 XXKP8 and the version 4.0.3 GT i9100 uh, status, here you can see some quick info, uh, let's see if we go ahead and try to connect to a network, I think most things works with this one, uh, go ahead and turn off Wi-Fi. I think they have changed this also a little bit, you know, they have this kind of green theme up here. And yeah, they, they have made it more green up here again. Um, yeah, okay, let's go ahead and connect to my network. Now you're gonna see my password, but yeah. And the keyboard feels a little better compared to like gingerbread, I suppose. Obtaining IP address. Hmm. I'm pretty sure that the internet is working, uh, but it just takes some time here over to to you know do that thing. Uh, obtain the IP address. Now, do I have my? Yeah, we we could you know. There we go. It's connected. Okay, you get a notification there. Uh, but if we compare the experience over here, now let's see. Can we bring this? I mean, this is like stock Android. 4.0 and uh, it's uh, not uh, the same <laughs> you know this is uh, what you get when you buy Galaxy Nexus this is how it looks like I mean is Sammy destroying this UI experience with TouchWiz uh, I think that could be the case now let's go ahead and go back uh, let's take a quick look here at multitasking if we hold it down, 
there we go. At least we have the same kind of multitasking um, on these phones when you're going up here. You can see, you know, you swipe to remove things. Same over here. Swipe to remove things. Um, what else uh, can I have a quick look at? Uh, I, I, I hate this boring background. I'm gonna change it later. Uh, where do we have the internet? And also, you know, this is a major thing. I mean, touch with this is how it looks like. But I mean, where do you have all of these widgets and cool things and you know smooth transition transitions? It feels like we're not gonna see that um, with touch with UI. That, that that's a little boring. Uh, yeah, that, that kind of sucks. Ah, the internet, the browser. Okay, let me change the name of that. Oh. Okay, here we can see this is all the. M no, it's not improved. Wait a sec. I don't think that they're using kind of the same uh, things when you're using tabs. No, it's it's much better over here on this bad boy. So I mean, it, it's gonna kind of suck to use. Uh, if you're going to use this official by Samsung under 4.0.3 uh, with touch with UI, it's going to suck because you know when you take up the tabs like this, it's uh, you know you can't like swipe to remove them. You just have the tap up there in the corner, and I mean that sucks. Uh, but yeah, just a very 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 quick quick look here uh, on XXKP8 connection problem. Okay, it's not connected to uh, my Wi-Fi thingy. I'm sure why it did disconnect, but uh, yeah, that's weird. But I think it's just my internet. It's, it's uh, like nothing else, nothing weird. Um, yeah, just obtaining the IP address. Uh, just a quick look uh, on this XXKP8. So, see you guys in the next video. And I'm not sure what that's going to be about, but I know that there's an awesome, um, you know, full kind of like a beta one of Android Fubito based on the Android open source project, and that is a kind of cool build. I think I'm going to try that out, but uh, yeah, until next time, I, you know, I, I see you, or, you know, I'm not sure. Uh, see you.